Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a problem on a non-homogeneous linear recurrence relations. In our previous sessions, we have solved a few examples on homogeneous linear recurrence relations in a first order, second order, and a higher order. So in similar way, we'll solve a problem of non-homogeneous. So why we are calling it as a non-homogeneous means the current term will always depends upon the previous terms and some sort of function. So let us take this example a n minus 5 a n minus 1 plus 6 a n minus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So what is the order of this one? So obviously the highest subscript is n and lowest subscript is n minus 2 which becomes n minus n plus 2 which becomes 2. So that will be the second order. So obviously n should be greater than or equal to 2 if it is a second order. Yes. So it satisfies. Now what we have to do? So you can observe, so this relation can be written as a n is equal to uh, 5 a n minus 1 uh, minus 6 a n minus 2 and plus 2, right. And you can see this is a current term and this is a previous term and this is a function. So this is function, this is a previous term, previous terms. So this is a current term. Okay, the current term will be depending upon the previous terms as well as some function. So, doesn't this doesn't not doesn't uh, depends only on these previous terms, but it also depends upon some function. So, this function can be either constant or multiples of n or a powers of n, whatever it may be, that will be the function. So, in this case, the general solution will be a n is equal to a n h plus a n p where h is the general solution of a homogeneous recurrence relation and a n p is a particular solution which is uh, related to this particular function. So now you can divide this one in two terms. You can divide this with the two terms. One is a n uh, minus 5 a n minus 1 plus 6 a n minus 2. And here it is a minus 2. So, this is the homogeneous linear recurrence relation. And this is f of n. So, we know the procedure to solve the homogeneous linear recurrence relation. First, we need to convert this into the auxiliary equation. So, the auxiliary e equation becomes k square minus 5k plus 6 equal to 0. So now we need to find uh, roots of this particular thing. So k, uh, k square minus uh, 3k minus 2k plus 6 equal to 0. So if you add this one, we will be getting minus 5. If you multiply this one, we will be getting 6k square. Yes. So the k, take k as a common, k minus 3, minus 2 as a common, k minus 3 equal to 0. So the k values will be. Uh, 3 comma 2. So let it be k1 is equal to 3 and k2 is equal to 2. And now what is the general solution for this one? The general solution for this one is a n h is equal to. So here the roots are different, totally different. So that can be written as a into k1 power n plus b into k2 power n. So this can be written as a n h is equal to a into what is the k1 here 3 so you can also consider it as a 2 okay no problem plus b into k2 2 2 power n so this is the general solution for this particular homogeneous now what is the general solution for this function so we have seen some table in our previous session so if the function is a constant then it will be a naught and if it is with a multiple of n then it will be a naught plus b1 into n right so like that we have seen a table of general solutions depending upon the function so here it is a constant so general solution a n p will be become the general solution will be becoming uh, it as a a naught okay general solution is a naught because of a constant okay if it is a multiple of n, then the general solution might be different. So, 
Now substitute this an a n value in this particular equation. So let it be this is an equation one. So substitute uh, a n in equation one. So wherever we are having a n will be taking a naught. Wherever you are having a n minus one. So it is a constant. Again we can use it as an a naught itself. If it is a multiple of n, we need to change it as n minus one, right? So what happens here? A naught minus five a naught. So this is a constant. So I am using only a naught. If it is, if if the value of n is n or n minus one or n minus two, the the general solution will be the constant itself. So it doesn't change. So five a naught plus six a naught. Minus two is equal to zero. So from this equation, you can solve. So seven a naught, seven a naught minus five a naught is equal to two. So that becomes two a naught equal to two. So a naught becomes one. A naught becomes one. So obviously we can say a and p that particular solution is one. Particular solution is one. So this is a general solution, right? This is a general solution. So which is represented as a and p. So obviously a and p becomes one because it is a a naught. Okay, it becomes one. Now, what is the general solution for the complete or non-homogeneous linear reconciliation, which is the addition of both homogeneous and a particular solution? So this becomes. What is the thing? Uh, a n is equal to a into three power n plus b into two power n plus a n of p, which is one. So this is a n of h and this is a n of p. So this is the general solution. From this, we have to find the values of a and p. So. Uh, let it be here we are having the initial uh, values a not equal to 1 so a not equal to 1 so m is equal to 0 that implies a not is equal to a into 3 power 0 plus b into 2 power 0 plus 1 so which becomes a not value is 1 so 1 is equal to so this becomes 1 and this becomes 1 so a plus b and here it is plus 1 so it becomes a plus b is equal to 0. Let it be this is equation 2. Similarly, a n a sorry a 1 is equal to minus 1 and n is equal to 1. So which gives a 1 is equal to a into 3 power 1 plus b into 2 power 1 plus 1. So which becomes uh, minus 1 I think yes. So minus 1 is equal to this this becomes 3a plus 2b plus 1 so this becomes 3a plus 2b is equal to minus 2 so this is a one more equation so we are having two equations equation 2 and equation 3 so we need to solve these two equations in order to find the a plus b values so i am erasing this one okay i hope you understood this one i am erasing this one So here what happens, uh, here you can take, uh, multiply the equation 1 or equation 2, multiply equation 2 with 2, okay, what happens here, equation 2 with 2, so 2a plus 2b is equal to 0, 2a plus 2b is equal to 0. Now, uh, subtract, so let it be equation 4, equation 3 and equation 4, so you can take it as 3a plus 2b is equal to minus 2, 2a plus 2b is equal to 0, so use subtraction so if you subtract it this becomes cancelled and this becomes a 
which is equal to minus 2. So, A becomes minus 2. So, uh, then what we have to do? Substitute A value in equation 2. A value in equation 2. So, what is the equation 2? So, A plus B is equal to 0. A plus B is equal to 0. Minus 2 plus B is equal to 0. Then B becomes 2. So, here we are having A is equal to minus 2 and B is equal to 2. Now, the general solution will be now the general solution will be what is the general solution here this one so a n is equal to what is the a value here a value is minus 2 minus 2 into 3 power n plus what is the b value here 2 2 into 2 power n plus 1 okay so this is the general solution a n is equal to so, minus 2 into 3 power n, that means a value into 3 power n plus 2 into uh, b value into 2 power n, 2 into 2 power n. So, you can also consider k1 value as 2 and k2 value as 3 also. Okay, that, there is no change. Okay, this will be the general solution. So, again, once again, I am repeating the process. First, we have to divide the complete given uh, non linear. Uh, uh, sorry, non homogeneous linear recurrence relations into two parts. One is with a homogeneous part, and the other one is a functional part. So, we know that the complete general solution for this uh, non homogeneous linear recurrence relation is an is equal to anh plus np. Anh stands for the general solution of homogeneous plus general solution of particular solution. So, whatever the function is having in this rec linear recurrence, I mean, in this uh, recurrence relation that will becomes the particular solution now we know the procedure how to find the general solution for homogeneous so that will be this one and in our previous session we have seen the table uh, of uh, general solutions if the function is in different ways right if it is a constant or multiples of n or something else right so i'll post the link in the description so you just refer that so from that uh, if if it is a constant here in this so in this problem the function is a constant so if it is a constant the general solution for any constant will be a naught so i am taking directly a naught and substituting that particular a naught in the given uh, relation so that we will be finding the value of a naught okay so after finding the value of a naught you can you will be getting the a n of p that means general solution of particular solution now you have to find out the general solution for the given a non homogeneous linear recurrence relation so that becomes this one Okay, so if you get this one automatically, we will we are having some initial conditions. You can apply the initial conditions or initial values in this particular general solution so that we will be getting two equations, and from those two equations, we can find out the values of A and B which are constant. And after finding the A value and B value, simply uh, just uh, substitute this one into the general solution so that will be this one. If there is no uh, initial values are given, automatically you can simply write this as a general solution. You will not apply the initial because uh, sometimes uh, you may not be given this particular initial values. So then you can stop the solution in here itself. So this will be the general solution. Okay, if you are giving some uh, initial values, then you need to find out the constant values of A and B. So this will be the general solution. Okay, so hope you understood this problem. The function is a constant. So in our next session, we will see a one more example where the function is a multiples of n. So the procedure will be different. So what is the different means? The general solution taken for a particular solution will be different. Right? So that we will see in our next session. So hope you understood this one. And if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, process, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.